Good morning, my brothers and my sisters. I'm Pastor David Criswell, pastor of Kingdom Way Truth and Life Ministries, located in Palm Bay, Florida. And um, it's been a rough couple of weeks um, here in Florida. As many know, we had um, Hurricane Ian come through. And during the storm, it kind of through some things a little out of sorts. But my prayer is definitely for all of those people um, on the southwestern side of Florida, the Gulf side who really sustained the full impact of the storm in the Fort Myers area. And um, the storm really devastated a lot of things, and many of us in the Central Florida area have uh, sustained damages and are dealing with flooding and flooding waters. Um, a lot of people are displaced at this particular time, going through different situations of how they're going to rebuild after losing everything. For me, one thing is constant through the storm, and that is my faith in God. You got to have faith through the storm. Storms will come in our lives. You may have faced one storm before, made it through, or the storm just blew over, or you may have had a direct impact. That might not be the only storm that you face in life. In life, we may face many different forms of storms, but we will face difficulties in our lives. How do we deal with storms? How do we prepare ourselves for when the storm is approaching how do we go through the storm while we're in the midst of the storm? And how do we regroup after the storm? I just want to share with you how I deal with the storm. I deal with storms in my life, difficult times in my life, difficult situations in my life with faith. Faith in God. I'm going to share with you a scripture that helps me all the time. And it is a, for many of us growing up in Sunday school, we um, were introduced to this particular scripture because many of us had to memorize it and recite it. And it's the 23rd Psalms. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He making me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. The psalmist says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff shall comfort me. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. So here we have the author saying, no matter what is going on in my life, the Lord is my shepherd, my good shepherd. If we study shepherds in biblical days, the sheep, relied on the shepherd. The shepherd would lead the sheep to greener pastures, keep them away from hurt, harm, and danger, protect them from the animals that would try to come and eat them. And so our Heavenly Father is our good shepherd. That if we depend on him, we don't fear for anything. We don't want for anything. He will make sure that we have everything we need. He will sustain us. And so when you put your trust and your faith in him, 
and say, Lord, I know you are my good shepherd. I'm not going to worry about anything. I'll place it in your hands. Even though when calamity hits, I'm trusting you that you will guide me to greener pastures. And I want to um, read the same verse, excuse me, same scripture from the Amplified. And the Amplified Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd to feed, to guide, to shield me. I shall not want. He lets me down, lets me lie down in green pastures. If the pastures not green enough, the where I can be nourished, the where I could prosper, he won't let me lie down there. He leaves me beside still waters, still quiet waters. So when, when the walls seem to be closing in around me, He'll lead me to a place where there's still water, where there'll be perfect peace, where I can clear my mind. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Even though, even though I walk through the sunless valley, the dark places, I may have to go through dark places, dark valleys. I may be in dark, in a dark time. I should not fear any evil, for I know no matter how dark it is, no matter how grim the outlook is, he's with me. I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff protect me. To guide me, they comfort, they console me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemy. You have anointed and refreshed my head with oil. My cup overflows. So no matter what has been taken away, no matter what has been destroyed, my faith in God tells me that God is working behind the scenes in my behalf. Surely goodness and mercy and unfailing love, his unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell throughout all my days in the house and in the presence of the Lord. So when we're going through the storm, to surmise this, when we're going through the storm, before we go through the storm, while we're going through the storm, and after the storm, we have to know that he is with us. He is our shepherd. He won't leave us or forsake us. So the key is have faith before, during, and after. It is God's job to provide. It is our job to have faith. God bless you. God keep you.